Hello friends, welcome to Tuesday's video. Today is going to be a little bit different. So I stopped by the Dollar Tree today because I wanted to talk to you all about budget resin crafts. Now, if you are a resin crafter, which I think most of you that watch my videos are, you know just how expensive this hobby or small business can be. So I took some time today after work. It was raining up a storm, so I hauled my little butt over to the Dollar Tree to wait for the clouds to pass and got straight to work looking for all of the things that you guys can hopefully, because every Dollar Tree is different, hopefully find within your Dollar Tree. So let's get to it. First up, we've got these small seasonal pieces. Now here I'm showing you some little skeleton hands. They are very, very cute. They would look so cute within a tray or a coaster, you know, and then your decorating is done. You just pour your resin, plop those in there, and boom, you're done, okay? Moving on, we've got ribbons. Now, ribbons you can use within your resin, or you can use it to decorate the outside of your resin. Uh, these ribbons are very cute. They have little skull faces. I adore them. Next up, this is a really big find, and you'll find these all throughout the entire year. Silicone molds and ice trays. I have picked up several different shaped ice trays. And for this one, I did not pick it up, but you can see it's a very cute little Halloween uh, scene. This is an actual baking silicone mold, I want to say, so it's not a nice tray. But uh, there are some ice trays, as you can see, that I have already also picked up. Next up is battery powered lights. Now these ones have little uh, plastic pieces on them. They come right off. The plastic pieces come right off. So you can use these lights just as lights or you can put them in there with a the little plastic pieces. I don't see why not. I think it's a great idea so maybe try that sometime. Also, stickers. Oh my god, there are tons of stickers in Dollar Tree and rub-on transfers. I absolutely adore rub-on transfers. They are great for decorating your trays, your little trinket dishes, that kind of thing. You could even use them definitely in coasters as well. Next up is vinyl. Dollar Tree started getting in vinyl, y'all. Now look, this is not going to be the same quality as your Cricut or your Cameo Silhouette, whatever uh, quality. It's not going to be that, but it will do you. It'll do a great job, and you're covering it with resin anyway, so who the hell cares, right? As long as it cuts perfectly on the machine, what do you have to worry about? And it comes in so many different colors and options, too. Next up, we got tins. Tins to decorate. So, uh, last year, I made a very cute little Christmas tin. You may have seen it. Um, I will link it in the iCard above, of course. But it comes in all different shapes. Um, they've also got like a little butterfly and little square ones. Yeah, definitely keep your eye out for these because these would make really cute little scenes uh, for decorating for Christmas or even Halloween. Don't forget to also look for the wooden pieces. You can decorate the wooden pieces. They have wooden rounds in their crafter square section. They've also got little wooden boxes. They've got lots and lots of wood projects for you to use, and you can cover those in whatever resin you want. Canvases. They have a lot of canvases. They have a lot of different um, sizes. They have flat ones. They have ones that are mounted onto wood. And they've also got black canvas, which is new. I don't think I'd seen that before. So uh, if you're looking for canvases, definitely check out Dollar Tree. It's not a bad find. Paint brushes. Holy crap. If you go through a ton of paint brushes like I do, uh, definitely go to the Dollar Tree. Because if you're working with resin, uh, <laughs> more often than not, you're going to run through some, some, uh, some paint brushes real quick, if you know what I mean. 
but also check out their makeup section for the makeup brushes. Those are the brushes that I typically use to dust uh, mica powders onto things. So definitely check out both those places. Okay, here we've got some beads. These are letter beads. Those would look so cute in a tiny little keychain. You could even put them in um, something that for, for earrings, I don't know. You, you guys get it. <laughs> they have cute little beads. They also have these really cute little square glass pieces. I don't know, maybe you could come up with something really fun with that. All right, glitters, glitter, glitter, glitter. The Dollar Tree has done a lot better uh, in recent years in getting a variety of different uh, colors of glitter. It's not going to be, you know, the most beautiful, most perfect glitter in the world. You know, this isn't Larissa glitter. But if you need glitter in a pinch, it will do. It, and it will do a good job. It'll do exactly like it's supposed to, okay? Also, check out the metallic markers. You're going to find those again in the crafter square section. They're not going to be your alcohol-based paint markers. They're not going to be that quality. But they're actually really not bad quality. So definitely give those a try. And if, if, they, if you don't really end up liking them for... Uh, the resin stuff, use them for something else. Give them to your kids. They'll, they'll have a blast with those, okay? They also started carrying jump rings and jewelry making stuff. So if you need jump rings for keychains or for earrings, you know, or for necklaces, definitely check out Dollar Tree. It's $1.50 for a whole bag of them. It's a really great deal. Definitely check that out. Dude, did I already mention stickers, by the way? Because this, I mean... The one I was in, there was a whole entire wall of stickers, and you're talking flat stickers, metallic stickers, puff stickers, three-dimensional stickers, so many stickers. So definitely, definitely, definitely check out their sticker selection at Dollar Tree. There's also a bunch of these wood shapes that you can put into your coasters or your trays. I've hauled these before in the past, so definitely check those out as well. They're coming out with new shapes all the freaking time, so... Definitely see if you can find those because they are a great find. My only suggestion would be to wash them thoroughly and dry them before you put them in resin because they are a little bit dusty. So you don't want that dust coming off and getting into your resin and then ruining the look of the coaster. But definitely, definitely pick these up. They're a great find. If you're looking for something to help you mix up very small amounts of resin but uh, color it I mean so like your UV resins if you're trying to make a teeny tiny little bit of like blue or red or pink or whatever pick up a paint palette one of these little paint palettes super perfect for mixing up itty bitty little bits of resin like that I mean they really are perfect and they're very very easy to clean as well so I touched on the glitter, but there's also so many different sequins and confetti that you can find. Definitely check out Crafter Square for sequins, but also be on the lookout in the party section for confetti. These are huge bags of confetti right here, and they are just, they're awesome. I mean, you could put those in anything, so definitely don't skip the party section when you go to your Dollar Tree. And look at these guys. I actually found silicone heart molds. Again, this is in the party section, more of like the baking side of the party section. Silicone heart molds. You get three of these for $1.25. I mean, they would be great if you were making, you know, teeny tiny, well, not teeny tiny, but uh, small heart uh, keychains and stuff. So I, I haven't tried them personally. So don't come at me if, uh, if they don't turn out very cute. But I just figured I'd point them out and maybe you guys could find those in your uh, Dollar Tree as well. Also, in the same section, of uh, the baking section, look for the piping bags for your flower blooms. They come in a little box, $1.25, very cheap. You can, uh, you can definitely use those. And you don't even need the tips. Don't buy the tips. You don't want the tips because the... The resin's just going to harden in the tips, and then your tips aren't going to be any good. So definitely get the piping bags. Don't worry about the tips. Small glass jars 
are so cute when you pour different layers of resin or do like little resin scenes in them. Um, you guys have seen my little my little fish bowls that I made recently. Those would look so cute in that. And we are in the uh, gardening section, I guess, gardening crafting section. So there's also over here, there is uh, glass beads, sand, shells, chunky glass pieces, and even little wood rounds. So lots of goodies for you to pick from and enjoy playing with in your resin pieces. They have rhinestone sheets and rhinestone ribbon here. I've used the rhinestone ribbon before um, in uh, some coasters that I'm showing to you right now. These are Christmas coasters. I just use the rhinestone ribbon around the edges to decorate them. But uh, definitely check these out. You can cut them out into any shape you really want, uh, actually. So they're really great for adding anything to your resin pieces that you want. Adhesive mirror pieces. Here you can see some that are in a cactus shape, but I've also got some in a tray that are feather shape. So definitely keep an eye out for those things as well. I found these today in the little gardening section, but I've also found them before in like the sticker section and the wall, wall decoration section. So definitely keep your eye out for those as well. Getting on to finishing your resin pieces, sandpaper. They sell sandpaper there. Again, it's not premium quality, you know? It's not the kind that they sell at Lowe's for 20 bucks, but it will do the job. It's sandpaper, it'll do the job. And also, they sell felt pads. So if you're making a tray and you wanna put some felt pads under there, like as little feet, so that it doesn't scratch up the surface of whatever table it's going to be sitting on. They sell those there too. They're very inexpensive and they are actually pretty good quality. Organizational containers and glass jars for organizing. You can find these at any Dollar Tree. Uh, they may be a little picked over depending on what time of year you go there. Spring is typically when the new colors come out and the new designs for it but I mean you can fit anything into these bins and it's a great way to organize all of the new stuff that you have just picked up like your glitters and your confetti <laughs> you know uh, so definitely don't skip out on these cute little organizational boxes anywhere else they're gonna charge you like three to five dollars for these things so uh, yeah definitely go to the Dollar Tree for that stuff and uh, definitely don't skip out on your Q-tips, your baby wipes, and your paper towels, okay? This Dollar Tree did not sell alcohol um, for some reason, rubbing alcohol for some reason, but most Dollar Trees I've been to generally do. So keep an eye out for that as well. You're going to want to make sure it's a higher percentage, though, um, you know, at least 80%. And, uh, and higher, but other than that, definitely don't forget that all of your cleaning supplies you can buy at the Dollar Tree. You can even buy trash bags for, you know, all of your trash that you inevitably make doing this craft. But anyway, let's see what else. I think that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. So that is what I have for you guys today. Um, like I said, check out your Dollar Tree. I don't go there very often. I really don't. Um, mostly because I am very antisocial, so I don't want to be around people. But if you like people and you like deals, definitely check out Dollar Tree. Obviously, this video is not sponsored by Dollar Tree. Uh, I just was in a mood and I was like, hey, you know, why not go to Dollar Tree? But anyway, that is going to be it for me today. I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel, helps me to grow. Also, if you are new uh, and you feel like it, stick around and click that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. 
I was looking on YouTube and I think it's almost 90% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Um, it's totally free, guys. You don't have to pay to subscribe. Uh, and if anybody is telling you that you have to pay to subscribe, they are lying to you. Anyway, that's all for me. Have a great day. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Goodbye. I'm I'm going to I'm going to hang up now, okay? No, I'm going to hang up. Okay. All right. I'll okay, bye.